Welcome back to Terra Scientifica, your go-to source for Earth sciences. Today, we're diving into the world of Fane winds. We'll explore what they are, their global names, what the word Fane means, and how these intriguing winds form. Let's get started. First things first, what exactly are Fane winds? Fane winds are meteorological phenomena that occur when prevailing winds encounter mountain ranges head-on. The result? Warm and dry winds on the downwind side of the mountains, making them a truly unique meteorological phenomenon. Now, let's dig into the meaning behind the word Fane. It's derived from Swiss German, Fen, which itself has Latin origins, Favonius, referring to a mild west wind. Over time, it evolved to represent a strong, dry, and warm wind in the German Alps. So, Fane captures both its history and essence. These fascinating winds are known by various names worldwide, and as we navigate across the globe, let's explore some of them. From the well-known Fane in the Alps to the Santa Ana winds in Southern California, the Chinook winds on the east sides of the Rocky Mountains, and the Zonda in Chile and Argentina, each region has its unique name for Fane winds. Further afield, we have the Puelsh in south-central Chile, the Berg wind in South Africa, and the Vlu in the Indogangetic Plain. Even on the picturesque east coast of New Zealand, they experience the Nor'wester. These diverse names reflect the local significance of this meteorological phenomenon. Now, let's unravel the mysteries of how Fane winds form. When the wind meets a mountain directly, it goes up following the mountain's shape. As it rises, the air pressure decreases, and the air expands, causing it to cool down. If the air has moisture in it, like humidity, something interesting happens. As the air climbs, it cools down even more, and if it becomes cold enough, the moisture in the air condenses, forming clouds, and sometimes rain or snow on the side of the mountain where the wind is coming from. Now, as the air goes over the mountain and comes down the other side, the downwind side, it warms up because it's descending. Since a lot of the moisture was left behind on the way up, the air becomes dry and warm on this side. In simple terms, the mountain acts like a barrier. On one side, the air goes up, gets cold, and releases moisture. On the other side, it comes down, warms up, and becomes dry. This process is what we call fane winds. Sometimes, there's not even any rain or clouds on the side where the air is going up, so the temperature on both sides can end up being the same for the same altitude. That concludes our journey through the world of Fane winds. Thanks for joining us on Terra Scientifica. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more exciting science content, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Until our next adventure, stay curious and stay safe.